Files. So today is a little bit harder for placement, but fairly straightforward nonetheless. Daily Contract is Path of Ember, which makes these double and plain phrases. Primarily, the problem is the invisible. Uh, the rest of these stats don't really cause a huge issue, because they're fairly fragile units to start with. Uh, they obviously have a lot of attack, which is where their problem is, but... Um, 100% skill duration and the invincibility is certainly something that hurts, but I'll get you guys through this. We're going to have Myrtle and Korea and Beanstalk as vanguards. Beanstalk is more to delay because we can use her crab to delay, uh, but also she does also give us deployment points and we do have negative 75% natural DP regen, so yeah. She kind of plays a dual rock. Vermeil and Jessica, I was using, but I will swap for this one out. I'm going to actually use May with her slow. Um, Jessica was fine. Jessica did exactly what I wanted her to, but I just felt that using May with this slow is just going to give you a little bit of extra time when things go a little bit wrong. Ethan with skill one. We're not actually going to be using Ethan for much more than just to add a little bit of extra damage when things are walking past him. And to try and get this, like this 50% arts and physical dodge rate. Uh, so having skill one that just throws an arts dot on something as they walk past, perfectly fine. If he binds them, he binds them. A fast redeploy with a shield, so we're going to be using gravel. Perfuma for her map wide heal talent. That helps tremendously in this. Uh, Suzuro with skill 2, because if something does start attacking any of our operators on the walls, we are absolutely going to need Suzuro to keep them alive. Chen with skill 3. Uh, obviously, if you haven't borrowed enough units to get your uh, medals for the week, make sure you borrow somebody's Chen. And last but not least, we're going to grab a Gummy, so a healing defender. I like using Gummy because she can keep herself topped up before she hits 50% but you guys can use any healing defender you like. So if this helps out guys, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, helps get me in the algorithm, and I always appreciate the support. So we're gonna pop Myrtle over here, well and truly out of the way. Uh, I like actually putting Myrtle somewhere back here so you can actually see when all the skill goes up, because otherwise she gets lost under a big clump of operators. Modal skill, and once we get to the 10, we're going to deploy Korea. Then we're going to deploy the male. Beanstalk with crab here. Ethan facing here, off to the left. May. Uh, Fuma here, all the way at the back. Korea out. Now, I noticed that this does this every time, and you'll probably ultimately lose Ethan here. It's kind of hit and miss as to whether you lose Ethan. Uh, it really depends on his avoidance rate. Uh, the, this enemy will actually throw fireballs that don't go where they're supposed to. They'll just hit Ethan, as you can see. So, be aware of that. Throw in Chen. Uh, but yes, that is completely normal. Don't mind. Well, I don't know if it's normal, but be aware of it. So, we're going to be doing a hit and miss job here on whether or not Ethan actually gets killed by this flamethrower dude. Be aware of it. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. What we're using him for is a delay. So be aware of that. He is only delaying. That's all he's doing. Uh, 
So once this flamethrower comes up, throw Chen in. Try not to delay too much with the flamethrowers. Make sure you get on top of them as quick as you can. To make sure the Chen gets rid of them. Because we're really relying on the duration of Chen's skill. That is really what this all hinges down to. At this point in time, you can, if you choose, deploy Suzuro there to make sure that this bottom row keeps getting healed. Uh, so I have actually missed that, so I'm going to take that out real quick and deploy Gummy on top of that enemy so Chen can start hitting it. I'm not too fussed about losing Beanstalk, I'll be real with you guys. Um, Beanstalk is only there at this point in time to bait shots from casters. And... Uh, to get more deployment points, so losing Beanstalk, not a huge deal. At this point in time, I am going to dog pile a lot of stuff in there to try and get rid of these last two enemies. Uh, ideally, this will work a lot better than I just did it, but that's okay. Because we're still going to get through this, even though I've just bollocks this up. But that's okay. I hope that helps out, guys. Uh, the end was sloppy, but... I guess it's always nice to see that even if you do make a little bit of a mistake, you can get through that, no problems. So I hope it helps out, guys. Bye!